What's up, everyone? The spaceman here. On a late Friday night. Well, it's actually quarter to 1 a.m. Early Saturday morning, if you want to look at it that way. Smoking my Boswell. Black Cherry Billiard. And in it, smoking some of this. Cornell and Deal Black Cherry. It's a bulk blend. Available on the Pipes and Cigars. Which I just received the new catalog from. I believe it's actually in this catalog. Right here. So. As low as two forty six an ounce, depending on how much you buy. I bought two ounces of it. The pouch note is absolutely wonderful. It's like a uh, straight black cherry and A little bit of vanilla. Yeah, just a smidgen of vanilla in there. Um, it's a Cavendish blend. You can hear this stuff cooking in the bowl, sizzling, crackling, like a midnight campfire or late night campfire, whatever. Uh,
Really doesn't have a whole lot of taste, just sweet maybe. A little bit of sweetness, teeny bit of vanilla maybe. Some tart flavor to it, like a cherry pop tart maybe. Um, well, what can you expect from most cherries anyway? A lot of cherries just, cherry is not a very strong, uh, impacting flavor to begin with okay room note is wonderful it smells a lot like cherry tobacco burning which is what it should taste like right or smell like uh doesn't have much flavor though like i'm saying it's a little bit of a sweet flavor, but it's very uh, mild. Uh, <laughs> I'm not going to really be able to give this one a very good rating. I'm going to tell you that right now. As a matter of fact, uh, this stuff is awful. Um, yeah, it's awful. I mean... Uh, it's like if you took a little pinch of cherry Kool-Aid or black cherry Kool-Aid, if they make it, and you put it in a whole entire gallon of water and mix it up and you're drinking it, right? And that's about what the flavor profile of this is. As a matter of fact, I, I, I wouldn't even bother buying it if I were you. I wouldn't smoke it. In fact... It'll be a snowy day in hell if I ever smoke this blend ever again. I just gotta throw this out. And that's what you should do, so don't even bother. You know, it's just whatever. If you like cherry blends, you wanna smoke it, blow out a bunch of smoke in the room, and make it smell like cherry. Cherry smoke filled room, that's fine. Well, this coming from Cornell and Deal is kind of odd because Cornell and Deal usually makes a very good blend. So I'm kind of disappointed in this. In fact, I'm really disappointed in this. Ugh. Never again. Now it'll be a stormy day in hell when I ever order this tobacco again. Lucky I only ordered one ounce. Gets all over your hands. If you're packing it with your hands, of course you gotta pick it up with your hand. But you use a tamper, it's all over your hand, and it smells like okay. So, that being said, uh, I'm still gonna try to enjoy the rest of this fight. Minus three star rating on this, it's gotta be the worst shit I've ever smoked in my life, okay. You want me to just, you know, get right down to brass tacks with it? This is bad stuff. Bad stuff. This is worse than... Worse than Bob's Chocolate Flake. And, and, and that's bad because Bob's Chocolate Flake tastes like lavender soap. Got that? Yeah, I just don't even bother smoking it. Just throw it in the trash. In fact, I, I, I smell like I smell like some kind of cherry in the room, but other people and spectators in the room say it just smells like tobacco. You don't even taste tobacco in this. All you taste is like this sugary, like a sugar uh, taste or something. Uh, sugar water, you know, it's awful. There's barely any flavor. It's like, it's like, you're drinking sugar water, but you're inhale. You're puffing on it through smoke. It's like puffing uh, sugar flavored air. It's that bad. I'm gonna check out now. And, uh, I hope I return after smoking two or three bowls of this. I I hate to waste tobacco, but 
I'm not going to smoke much more than that. Uh, I think I'll be okay. Uh, make it to the next video, so. Catch you around the next corner. Mm-hmm.